Okay, I'm in my office um, and I'm going to show you how to make connection between um, your computer and the uh, Trimble 4000 receiver. Um, Trimble makes a software program called uh, Trimble Data Transfer and it's available free of charge from Trimble's website. I'm going to click on the start button and the program is called Data Transfer. I'm going to open that program. Now you'll see the receiver uh, right now is off. Um, I've got uh, power coming from the battery through uh, this cable set going into the um, this this port here, and then I've got a serial cable, a data cable, connected from uh, the receiver to a um, serial to USB adapter, and that uh, USB port. Uh, or USB cable plugs in to an available USB port on my computer. Now one of the things that's hard uh, about working with these USB uh, cables using these adapters is figuring out which port things are on. I have a program here called ports.bat. It's a little batch file. It shows the ports that are in use. Right now you can see these, uh, there's quite a few ports here, but COM8 is the serial port. If I go to uh, disconnect the USB cable and then run the, the same ports.bat program again, if I go down here and run it, that same window pops up, but you'll see COM8 isn't there. You've got three, four, five, six, nine. 11, 12, 13, and 20. So you're going to need some kind of a utility like that that you can use to determine what port is making the connection there on the USB cord. So once you've done that, there's a few things you've got to do. You've got to go into the data transfer utility from Trimble, and you're going to want to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and erase this. I'm going to set it to a different device. I'm going to show you how to, how to create a device here. Uh, so right now I've created one called Trimble 4000 on COM8. I'm going to delete that. Yes. And I'm going to create a new device. We're going to scroll down here to, there it is, GPS Receiver 4000 Series. We're going to click OK on that. And in this case we're going to select based on what port we found available or, or that was being used by the USB, we're going to select COM8. Next. We're going to enter a name, and we'll just call this... Uh, click Next. Now it allows us to set settings. Uh, the baud rate should be 38,400. You don't want this box for use flow control. You do not want it to be checked. Data bits are grayed out, but they show 8 there. Parity should be odd. Odd. Stop bits are grayed out. They should be 1. Uh, retries 1 and timeout 5 should be fine. You click on Next. Concatenate files on download. I, I don't have it checked. I don't want the files concatenated. And we go to Finish. Now we'll close out of this window and then we'll go into our device and we're going to select the same uh, configuration we just made, which was Trimble 4000 on COM8. Now, we then want to turn the power on to the receiver. Okay. And back at the utility here, we want to go ahead and click the, the green check button, which means to connect. It's going to search for it and it found it, connected to 4000 SSI. Now if we click the Add button, it'll show us the files that are available on the receiver. Now GPS files are usually set up such that the, four, uh, the first four numbers are the receiver serial number, 3828 happens to be the serial number, the last four digits of the serial number here, 3828. And then um, the next set of three numbers is, I believe, what's called the Julian Day. Anyway, this is, I think, the 338th day of um, 
of 2013 and then zero I guess is available for uh, for other like if you had multiple files on the same day I guess um, and we want to click on the one that I did today 338-0 and click on open and we want to transfer all so now it's going ahead and downloading the file that's on the receiver. 